Hilton House. Thank you, Steve, and a very good evening, everybody. Warm well, welcome along to Countryside Race Day evening here at Lingfield Park. And as you've heard, the Shower King Flying Feathers Heavy Horse Stakes so the Shire Horses. The race about to take place on the all-weather track. Runners are heading out onto the artificial surface very shortly. First to move out onto the track will be Hercules. Joe Tumulti on board. And the dark green jacket, that yellow sash, the stars on the sleeves. Hercules, who ran fifth in the running of this race last year. Next on the parade is Flash, Leighton Asport now on board, the dual Grand National winning jockey Leighton Asport, the purple with the pink stars, those pink sleeves on board Flash. And that shy horse finished seventh in the race at last year. Then Angus, jockey is Mark Goldstein in the white and brown colours. He's only just beaten in this race last year. And then the only mare in the race, Towie Girl, a massive bachelor on board. The red and white diamonds for Towie Girl. Number six is King Harry Hayes riding. The white with those blue stars and armlets for number six, King. Number seven is Jacob, now ridden by Mark Grant. The white and black colours for Jacob. And alongside in green and yellow silks is Patrick, a Clydesdale. He's come all the way down from the north to run here. And Patrick completes the lineup for the Shire Horse Race of 2015 here at Lingfield. The Shower King Flying Feathers Heavy Horse Stakes. They start at the top of the home straight on the polytrack surface and two furlongs to cover. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've made our way up to the commentary box now. It's a, war it's a rabbit warren here. So the runners are going down to the start now, all nice and relaxed and chilled. No clues yet who's going to be first. They all look ready and full of running. So we're hoping for a good close race. Uh, 
Okay, so we're going to be lining up for the start shortly. I don't know if you've still got time to get any bets on. Rem just a reminder that we had a change of jockey. So um, Flash is now being ridden by Leighton Aspel and Jacob by Mark Grant. The horses in the red and white are representing the Shires and the horses in the blue and white main rails are representing the Clydesdales. Looks like we're about to start. I'm going to hand over to your commentator. So the shy horses have arrived down at the collecting area, top of the home straight. Two furlongs, a quarter of a mile to cover, and about 400 metres for these shy horses. So the Shire is still circling around at the starting area. Quite a few bookmakers uh, pricing up on this. Hercules at 7-2, to two, Flash 11-4. to 2-1 to one at favourite at the moment is Angus. Tawie Girl, Patrick and King all at 5-2 to two, and Jacob is 11-4. to four. Sort of chance to have a bet here on the Shires. So we've got a few minutes until they start the race at 5.15. Um, one of the reasons why we decided to do Shires versus Clydes is that as heavy horse breeds, they're both endangered breeds. In the 1970s, the numbers of the Shire breed dropped so low that in fact certain Clydesdale stock were introduced into the Shire lines to keep the breed going. So there's always a bit of a crossover between Shires and Clydes. That's why some of them can look quite similar to each other. Probably of the runners that we have running today, the one who is the most obvious stamp of a Clyde would be Patrick, which is horse number five. He really is a traditional looking Clydesdale um, and he's a proper northern bred and uh, proper traditional Clydesdale. We've got one stallion running today and one mare, so we're hoping that they don't meet on the start line, otherwise we could have mm, one foal. Um, so the rest of them are all geldings. Um, in this particular race. We try to avoid running stallions at the same time, although we have had two stallions run here before together. Uh, we have a father and son team. Number two, horse number two, Flash, is the father of horse number one, Hercules, in the days before Flash was a gelding. You'll see that they've all got uh, national flags on, Scotland and England national flags, and also the main roll covers to reflect the different nations.
Okay, just over a couple of minutes now to the off time of this Shower King Flying Feathers Heavy Horse Stakes of 2015. It was a great finish to the race last year. Angus was narrowly beaten when second 12 months ago. Also turning up 12 months on Hercules and Flash, who were fifth and seventh respectively 12 months ago. So just over a minute now to the due off time. They look good to go now, down at the starts. They'll be forming a line very shortly, at the top of the polytrack home stretch here. Two furlongs for the Shires, they're walking forward. And they're off and racing for the Shower King Flying Feathers. Heavy horse stakes and Hercules started a little slowly. Patrick has got the best break over on the far side. Angus last year's second also right up there. Towie Girl and Maddie Batchelor now move up to challenge. It's Towie Girl, Maddie Batchelor, the red and white diamonds, the far side. Leighton Aspel getting a great tune out of Flash on the near side. Between them is King under Harry Hayes as they race inside the final furlong. And it's Flash under dual Grand National winning jockey Leighton Aspel, who've now just about hit the front and pick it up from Towie Girl. Grand Nationals, shy horse races, they all come alike to Leighton Aspel, who wins on Flash. He beats Towie Girl into second, back in third King. In fourth place was Patrick, Angus was fifth, and then came Jacob and Hercules. First, number two, Flash. Second, number four, Towie Girl. Third, number six, King. And fourth, number five, Patrick. The distances were one and a quarter lengths and three quarters of a length.